exciting. The last time you guys saw us, we were outside in the sun at sunset. I'll link that video down below. That was the Hascap wine. That was wine. the Hascap wine. But today it is getting a little bit colder, so we're back into our studio and we have two wines. Usually we do a white or a red, but today we're doing a white and a red. This is two wines that we actually used at our wedding. We just got married. Yay. I don't know when I'm going to post this, but today is our week, first week anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Money. Yes. So we have a white and we have a red. I think we're going to start with the white though. Um, and David, you want to talk a little bit about it? Sure. Well, um, anyways, it's uh, second street light. Uh, estate winery and uh, the name of this wine is good it's uh, 2018 mm -hmm. and uh, let's take a look at the description on the back a friendly wine that makes its best impression when paired with good friends good conversation good food or good times yeah. try pairing good with any situation or event and see for yourself that good helps make good memories how many times is that one two three four five six Seven times we used the word good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it must be good. <laughs> well, I would hope so because we had it at our wedding. So, <laughs> uh, I guess in this case we have already <laughs> yes. tasted we it. We have tasted so. it, but we haven't like sat down, really tasted it, really analyzed it like we do in these videos. Right. So, Street Second Streetlight Street Estate Winery. I don't know if you said Estate Winery. Yes. Oh, pretty okay. sure. So, they are located in Ontario. What is VQA? I should have Googled that. Uh, Vintners Quality Association oh, okay. of Ontario. They, uh, oh, okay. If you grow wine there, there's like an association, you know, Love for them. membership. Uh, so, yeah. So, actually, it also does say their address on the back. So, they're actually in Clinton, Ontario. And a little background on this uh, winery, they are actually, uh, it's my cousin, <laughs> my cousin's winery. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. Well, <laughs> so there's family connection. Family connections. We've never, uh, so we're not, we're, we're, we're not, we're going to put family connections aside and we're going to not judge, but we're going to. The word. Taste. Taste. Yeah, we're gonna taste it to what we believe is whatever. <laughs> well, it smells good. I kind of. Uh... <laughs> good. <laughs> I feel like they made those labels because, like, it's just a word that you say often. Like, oh, it's good. Like, it's just like I don't know. All right. So first, we're gonna do a little smelly smell. What do you smell? It smells like a more like a Chardonnay to me. Yeah. Like a little bit of like a Chardonnay. I don't know what kind of white wine it would be. It's just good white wine. I, I get like a fruity, not super fruity, more like an apple-y. Apple's a fruit, I realize, but apples on their own smells different than, say, a fruit salad. <laughs> yeah, fruity or... A fruitier, like an apple-y syrup -y. Like crisp. Yeah. It's very crisp. But yeah. My okay. first instinct was like a Chardonnay, but yeah. So can you taste the 2018 in there? No, I don't know. I can't taste a number. <laughs> it's actually very good. <laughs> gotcha. I get a little bit of, uh, you know, a slight acidity, kind of like a Chardonnay. Yeah. Um, almost like a Pinot Grigio, but not so sweet, hey? It's not overly sweet. It's just like some, the perfect amount of like sweet. Yeah, like some whites, they tend to go a little bit heavy on the sweetness. This one here, you get a nice balance. Like there is sweetness to it. It's not right. exceptionally dry, mm -hmm. but it's not, uh, you know, like a lot of those wines that you see these days and they're whites and it's like, you know, like a usually, relax Riesling and stuff. I they're good. Stay they're away just, from them. Yeah, they're just too sugary, hey? Yeah. And so this has a nice balance that I think it would pair good with just about anything. Yeah, for sure. I want to say like pears as well. Yeah, I get the pear. And it's like a clean flavor. Yeah, it's clean and like it's sharp. Sharp? What's wrong? I don't know, I keep hearing this. It's like a sharp, clean, like, look. Is it my chair? Maybe. Yeah, it's your turn. <laughs> it's a sharp, clean, like, just 
the, the look of it and everything is very like very yeah nice. it's very not nice. very syrupy i think it's great no 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 it's good it's good <laughs> so uh for a cheese here today we're gonna uh manitoba made local boswell cheese and uh, this is the jalapeno Monterey Jack. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you put jalapeno in anything, it usually makes it delicious. So on that note, isn't that true? Yeah, sometimes. I mean, jalapeno can be pretty overpowering. Although they Well, have... you put them in your subs at Subway. Actually, no, I don't. No? I don't. Is that the banana peppers? I do banana peppers. Right? What's yeah. banana peppers, jalapenos? What's the difference? A big difference. <laughs> All right, so let's try a piece of cheese here. Like white, white cheese with the white wine. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite mm. cheeses, it's so good. I like that kick of jalapenos. Yeah, and actually goes very well with... Even jalapenos wine. and chocolate taste great. Look it up. Mm -mm. No, I think definitely if you're going to drink this wine, drink it or eat... Or, if you're gonna eat something with this one, a charcuterie, if you may. Uh, get some spicy in there. Yeah. It'll definitely bring it pairs some, good because it pairs the wine well. is uh, nice, crisp, and clean. Mm -hmm. And then um, you're not like, say, if you were to have the cheese with a little bit of kick and drink milk, you would be toning mm -hmm. the flavor down. But this just complements it just right. Mm -hmm. And again, because it's not really sweet, you don't get any weirdness happening with the. Uh, flavor of the cheese. Myself, I'm a red wine drinker, um, but I would definitely uh, get this white wine. It's just, it's very crisp and I don't even want well, it. No, well with the good, you're uh, not sampling the other good food. So, it's just very like, it's a very... This is a white wine I like. I'm not normally a big yeah. fan of them either. But anyways, today I made some kale chips. From our own homegrown. Yeah. Yes, and uh, if Melissa remembers, she'll put a picture here of uh, this kale, or maybe over here. I don't know where she'll put it. <laughs> but um, this kale, it's a special kale, and uh, I believe it comes from the Isle of Man, which is somewhere, you know, uh, close to England there, and uh, the in the United Kingdom. And it's like a kale that instead of growing close to the ground, it grows like six feet tall. Yeah. And it's called walking stick kale. It tastes like regular kale. Oh yeah, for sure. And uh, we got some nice little crunchy chips going on here, and uh, just salt, pepper, olive oil, bake in the oven, mm -hmm. and you get that little bit of flavor. And let's see. Mm. That's a good combo too. Definitely the white and the kale chips. I think I like the cheese better. The amount of salt. I feel like in those, there's too much salt. Maybe the, when it, when you're pairing it with the wine, I feel like it's too much. Mm. So. You know, a little bit. You know, I do have a tendency to over salt food, mm -hmm. but I grew up in a home okay. where nothing was seasoned. It was yeah. like here's your carrots; they were just boiled in water. Here's mm -hmm. your potatoes; they were only boiled in water, nothing else. And so now, as an adult, I feel like, you know, if the thing's worth eating, put some seasoning on it. Sorry, it's just, <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to drive this home. Mm -hmm. If the food's good, you know, treat it like good food. Like put some seasoning on it and uh, just help it bring out the flavor. So now I tend to overcompensate and get excited. My apologies. Good food, good wine. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on to the red. All right, so on to the good red. Um, the friendly one, it literally is the exact same thing seeing as that one. Uh, just a different font. Well, uh, but it's a 2017 this time. Oh, right. That's right. So that's the year we met. So hence Ooh. it was appropriate for the wedding. Right. That, oh, wow. I didn't even make that connection. Well, that's why I'm here to make the connections, oh. right? Because without me, there would be no connection. That is correct. <laughs> uh, all right. And I don't know if you mentioned, these are all twist, twist tops, which is nice. Nice and... Is it? Alright. Rookie. Alright. We're using all the wrong cups. How, how come, uh, We're using... you know what's going on here? Oh, 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 oh. I don't know, man. 
There we go. We're using all the wrong cups, but that's what makes these videos the best. So let's do a smelly smell. I right away hit like a dark Cherry. cherries and dark <laughs> plums, you yeah, know, like sure. some real tree fruit happening. Yeah. Just a, a dark variety. I almost <laughs> want to say like prunes. Oh, this would pair really well raisin. with the cheese, but also like I feel like I'm I'm also gonna like a dark dark chocolatey like. Yeah, are you in that mood for a chocolate? Not really. Not really, but you think this you would pair chocolate? good with it? Well, we got those mints, but that's oh, all right. Chocolate. I feel like bringing the mint into this would be too much. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so. Weird. Again, it's not uh, it's not heavy. It's lighter, like as you can tell. You know, it's very viscous and flowy. I find it's kind of heavy. It's light, really. Well, for a red, reds tend okay, to be so heavy. Okay, so literally, the, the moment it hit my tongue and my lips, sour. I don't get so much sour. But once you take the sip and it's going down your throat, <laughs> you're getting like. I don't know, like I get the black sour, cherry. Yeah, at the edges yeah, of the tongue. Yeah. But um it tends to be uh very cherry. Um uh, like cherry. a Bing cherry, like a mm. or a rose cherry, yeah, like just it's something. Very nice. Yeah. I feel like I have so much more to say about this. Like I feel like at the tip of my tongue, like there's so much more that I wanna say I'm maybe it's say. just the season, but I smell like it could be the season. No, like uh fall leaves you know like just when you rake leaves that smell of raking leaves but that could just be coming in from outside <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like an earthiness yeah and it's like you can taste like a woodiness like i don't know if these are like aged in yeah we don't know what they're or, aged in uh, you know if they're just you know these days you know like not everything gets aged inside some oak cast like uh, it could be uh okay, wait. done in stainless steel oh, that, 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 that. what so does it's it say 83 percent oh my god i'm gonna butcher these uh baco noir 13 percent cab sap and four percent fosh the marshall fosh. Marsh, marshall fosh so that's the kind i was trying to grow here yeah um and i would like to grow that grape here mm-hmm so it's mostly the Baco Noir or Baco. The red, honestly. I like it. I'm gonna try with a piece of cheese yes, here. Yes, it's good, but it's not. I, I feel like it's not something that I. Well, I would, it doesn't I gravitate towards. It doesn't claim to be the world's best. It claims to be good. Yeah, it's not the greatest. And I say it hits the mark. It's not the bestest. But you know what, though, honestly, it's really good. It is really good. <laughs> We're just teasing here at this point, based on the name. But no, but in like honestly, purely like I feel like I would love this with just about any kind of red meat. You know, just a sizzling steak with peppercorn on there right now. There's something off of it that's hitting me. That's off about it, and I just don't. Off know in what a it good is. way or a bad way? Well, off in a bad way, but it, like not bad that I'm never gonna drink it again, or like I'm gonna like knock it, or I'm trying to knock it, or trying to say something ne negative because it's my family. But like, I don't know. I just feel like personally, my taste buds and what I like, it's very good. But like, it's just there's just something. Maybe the tannins are too much for you Maybe. there. Maybe. Mm. Like it's just like too. I don't know. I want to say too soury. There's a little bit of, of a, like a, a bitter, home, yeah. a, a bitter like from the tannins. Like it tastes end. like a homegrown, authentic. Like it's like this didn't come from like. Yeah. It's just very authentic authentically made uh, red wine and I feel like a lot of like or more, maybe more <laughs> more in the lines of like an organic kind of and not like can you taste, taste the difference between organic and I don't know maybe that should be a video blindfold wine. me yeah Ooh, video ideas <laughs> you can do that anyway I don't know what I'm wine. trying to say but we didn't really okay so let's rate them mm. okay so we didn't really rate them so first well, we're gonna rate the kale chips. They only get a six out of ten because I over oil. I haven't made kale chips in a couple years. 
and uh, honestly, when I went to pour the EVOO in, it just went everywhere. So. But they're crispy. Sure. A little bit over salted. Mm. <laughs> we should have. Uh, okay, so the white. Okay, let's do one out of ten. For a white, honestly, I would give it a eight and a half. I personally, gonna, I was gonna say eight. Okay. Because, uh, you know, I'm not normally a big fan and of these whites. These are our opinions. Yeah. <laughs> but I really, I like it, eh? Like, mm. um, and that's a lot coming from a guy who just, you know. And that's a lot like, coming from someone who doesn't really drink white wine. Yeah, don't really. Uh, but it's, it's really great. Honestly, I think I would choose that over that, which is crazy because I never drink white wine. Like you know what? I, I give the red higher. I would say, as mm -hmm. far as reds go, I would give it a nine. I like it. See, now if I give it something lower than an eight, I feel like, because I have to, right? Well, yeah. Mm hmm. So. What would you give That's this? That's harsh. I think actually maybe I would move that to an, a nine and that would be an eight because it's not. Or an eight good. and a half like me? Yeah, like they're like, they're both in between like an eight and a nine. But this one, I would prefer the I, I white. I feel like the we red. need to make the video where, because, you know, we buy these nice wines and her and I, we try them and we enjoy them. But like, <clears throat> when's the last time we tried Baby Duck? Sorry to bring that up. Mm. But like, I think we need to do a video, you know. Of garbage wines. Yeah, like that thing that's one gallon that just says California red and it just <laughs> looks like Baby Duck. Like some grandpa made it in his basement. And like when you tip the bottle, there's just so much sediment stuck to the side of it, oh, and it's like, so oh, what happened? Different things we can do, like expensive and like cheap. Yeah, but you know, so it's hard uh, to grade things, especially when you don't have a point of reference right. for what a one is right. versus a ten. So I almost feel like, in the effort to do a better grading for the viewer. We need to find some real garbage mm -hmm. that's like a one and then drink it. And then so that the viewer at home could be like, hey, you know, I had yeah. that. And uh, that is a that one. Is true. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. It's something where everybody idea. could play along. Absolutely. Come drink with us in the future. Yeah. So do we have. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to thank my family for. Um, providing the wine for our wedding. Thank you. The extra wine that we are going to be enjoying as the days go on. Well, I guess that's all I have to say about today's episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you've tried this wine down in the comments uh, below. Um, I don't know if a lot of, I don't even know if you can really get this outside of Ontario unless it's shipped to you. Um, I do know they do do shipping, I think. Maybe I should clarify that <laughs> with them, but um, I'm pretty sure they have a website and everything that you can go to. Secondstreetlightwines.ca. Um, yeah, I'll put all of their information down below. Um, I'm, they have an, I'm pretty sure they have an Instagram, a Facebook, and all that fun stuff. Um, if you want to check them out. Um, oh, we didn't really talk about price points. I do believe the price point was pretty good. It was between 20 and 25. I think I want to say like 22.99 or something like that um, for a bottle. Uh, but I will obviously put that on the screen right now for you guys. But if you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. XOXOMM.